Oh, Apple. Always trying to convince people that iPads are computers and no one listened. So then you got frustrated and finally put a desktop computer chip into an iPad. That's right. The iPad Pro for 2021. Sorry, you wanna see that, Andy? I can't do this too much. The 2021 iPad Pro has an M1 chip inside, processor, system on chip. It's a CPU and a GPU and memory. It's the same thing that's in the last year's MacBook Pro and MacBook Air, as well as a MacBook Mini. And now the iMac as well. They're just sticking this M1 wherever it'll, it'll take, you know? They're just throwing it at the wall and being like, that's a computer now. Like the, the iPads we've had in previous years were very impressive in the features that Apple added to them, both in terms of iPad OS and in terms of the physical changes they made to the iPad. So I'm actually pretty interested to do this unboxing today, even though the iPad is supposed to look very much similar to the previous iPads, there's a lot of changes here. So let's check it out, <laughs> please. As usual, this was sent to us by dbrand. You know that I'm expecting a horrible uh, shock when I open the box. Will it be unicorns? Will it be transformers fighting in a... Anyways, let's find out. Ready? We'll, we'll find out together. Three, two, one. Whoosh. Oh. <laughs> How do I make this dramatic? I'm not even looking. I think my fingers are gonna leave a bunch of fingerprints. Okay, here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's crazy. Is that prism? I don't know what it is. Is that oh. what it's called? Prism? Oh man. That's prism. The, that's Damascus again. Oh, Damascus. Like Damascus steel? Yeah. Shimmer, 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 shimmy yo, shimmy a. Yeah. D brand every hour, every day. I can't rhyme. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, well, that's the unboxing, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Go to dbrand.com slash short Linus? Really? Short Linus? <laughs> Go check them out, get a D-brand skin. We got the same uh, camera square rounded corners module thing there. And I think the back cameras are the, the exact same. There's a like a regular field of view one and then an ultra wide and the LiDAR sensor that was there in the previous two models, I believe. But on the front, we got a new ultra wide camera. Do you know about that, Jono? It's got 122 degree field of view, also 12 megapixels, but that uses center stage and you can move around and the iPad's like, I see you, you can't get it, you can't, Apple knows. What happens on the iPad stays in the iPad because we took it. Wow, that screen is so bright! Because they, they're like, oh, we use the same mini LED technology that we had on the Pro XDR display and we miniaturized it and put it in the iPad. That's their whole deal. So apparently this gets up to 1600 nits peak brightness. What country are we in again? They don't have North Korea! No! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Whoa! Just to, just to kind of give some context here. So this is a 12.9 inch model. It starts at 1099 with the M1 chip desktop class sort of. It started in laptops. The smaller 11 inch model starts at 799, which I, you know, it's an iPad. So when you think about it as a, just a tablet, that's kind of expensive. But if you think about it as like, okay, it's a computer like Apple wants you to think, maybe not that bad. So I wanna know what's inside this box. So here we go, what's in the box? What's in the box? That's what you guys do in short circuit? Yeah. It's a charger, USB-C. A charger? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, it's not just USB-C, it's Thunderbolt, people. The 2020 iPad Pro has Thunderbolt 3. This one has Thunderbolt 4, which means we're allowed up to 40 gigabits. That M1 chip I've been talking about sporadically throughout this video is supposed to perform 50% faster than the previous chip in the 2020 iPad Pro, which was the Apple A12Z or Z for Canadians and 40% better GPU performance. Although I've taken a look around at some of the reviews that are out there so far, some people get a, a large difference in performance and other people are like, yeah, it's rendering this video like 30 seconds faster than the old one. And why is it so bright? Why is there so many nits? Because there's 10,000 mini LEDs in here with uh, over 2,500 local dimming zones. I wanna see that right away before we get any further. Can I ask Siri to do it? How do you get Siri? Mm. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. There we Choose go. the voice you'd like to I like to the use. old one. Hey Siri, turn on dark mode. Okay, dark mode is now on. I actually did not expect that to work because I have not used Siri in a long time and the last time I used Siri, she was kind of useless. 
Wait, but now it's dark. So now I can, <laughs> So some people were saying there's a blooming issue uh, with this screen, uh, which is one of the things that the mini LED display is supposed to prevent specifically because mini LEDs with all of these like tiny individual LEDs in the local dimming zones, it's supposed to prevent white stuff on a black background from having this like blooming effect. But uh, I'm not noticing it here, or am I? <laughs> it's just funny because this is not something I would do with a regular screen, you know, but because Apple has all these bold claims like, oh, a million LED is perfect contrast, one million to one contrast ratio. In the vast majority of cases, you're not gonna see any sort of blooming effect, but you know, people pick apart these Apple devices. Hey Siri, take a screenshot. Can we turn the lights off? Oh, maybe I do see it now. I feel like I see a little bit of blooming. Yeah, who knows? And more importantly, who cares? Uh, let's uh, let's move on to, ah, geez Louise. Okay, one of the other cool things about uh, this year's iPad is the fact that unlike previous models, Apple is actually telling you how much RAM is in it, which again signals them trying to uh, tell pros of various sorts that this is something they could use. It's a computer. It's a computer. What's a computer? What's a computer? The other thing about that memory thing is that there's more memory. There's eight gigs and 16 gigs, which makes iOS's already stellar memory management even better. I feel like I'm talking a lot about the iPad and not using it. Wait, do I have to go into, I probably have to do, go to FaceTime to use center stage. Here's what I found. No, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should not take photos just to discourage people from using the iPad as a camera. Hi guys. Hi. On the front we have the same two cameras. So this is the wider view, but we can also switch to the back and now we can do the same thing. Oh, I can't get you all. It's hard to get you all in there this way, but what if I, what? <laughs> that's, um, I mean, that's nice though. If they should have an ultra wide camera on anything, it should definitely be the, an iPad because it's like, this is like a big unwieldy square. Whoa! <laughs> Selfie with the rear camera. Cause I'm so crazy. <laughs> what am I doing now? <laughs> the reason that this ultra wide camera is necessary and cool is because when you go to FaceTime, it will be able to kind of do this Facebook portal sort of thing where it doesn't use this wide shot. It zooms in on one area and then it'll kind of like follow you around as you're moving around this, the, the scene. Yeah, so center stage in FaceTime, I think we'll, we'll let you use that, but I'm not using FaceTime because I'm not signed into an account because this is short circuit. It's supposed to be short and I'm taking way too long, Jono, I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is something you could do in previous iPad Pros. It makes it a little bit more like a desktop where you have kind of have icons closer together and then you can have customizable widgets on this side. Oh, I'm a, I'm a professional. I have an iPad Pro, so I'm checking stocks. I'm riding the stock. How's, how's crypto these days? But yeah, you can, uh, you can have your desktop widgets and stuff. This is gonna be the question for me. Every time I've done an iPad video, it's the question of, can this be a computer? To remind us of that, let's see if it fits in the old magic keyboard. But the, the thing that will play into whether it be, can be your main computer is whether they change iPadOS enough to make the people who are skeptical about this happy. The file manager, they've improved a ton. The overall interface, it has mouse and keyboard support, but there are some people who are still not happy with the way that like files is implemented. You can connect to servers, but like often the servers will disconnect. And that's annoying to me personally, big server lover. On the plus side, there was some talk when they first announced this that it wouldn't fit with the older Magic Keyboard model that's meant for the 2020 version. But I mean, as you can see, it goes in there and it closes just like, so I don't, I don't understand why, what's different about it. Ooh, yeah, I feel like that's more sturdy. Look, it goes on there, Jono, aren't you impressed? That's definitely a computer. No comment. <laughs> wow. Battery is supposed to be around the same from what I hear, 10 hours, I think. I mean, the speakers are at the same, I believe. So this is the real test of a XDR retina display mini LED screen. Crab <laughs> I think this is about the same thing we said last time where we're like, it's a tablet, but the speakers are really good for a tablet at least. I don't know about other things as comparison points, but it's pretty good for a tablet. As usual, you know, 
we, we hear about this uh, having this like really amazing new display and it definitely looks nice, I mean, at first glance, but question is once you compare it to the previous iPad models and to other things that are apparently have really nice displays, which I will do in the LTT review. So sub what? you wouldn't be not subscribed to Linus Tech Tips if you're watching this video. Subscribe to Short Circuit for good measure. I love this video and I love you. Hey, you wanna show me that you love me too? Watch more Short Circuit videos, subscribe even, and uh, stay tuned for the full LTT review of this. And also subscribe to Carpool Critics Movie Podcast. Help us help you.